Well, dozens of current and former St. Louis police officers are under investigation tonight for allegedly sharing hateful posts on Facebook. Fox 2's Andy Banker explains the officers represent only a small fraction of the force, but people across the country are wanting answers. It's called the Plainview Project, and it looks at personal social media posts by police officers from eight departments across the country. And its findings are setting off alarm bells from the mayor's office in St. Louis to Congress. The Plainview Project's website shows posts going back to 2013. They are most often memes or photos shared from elsewhere, plus comments. Over 400 racist, violent, or bigoted Facebook posts by current or former St. Louis Metropolitan Police were also revealed. St. Louis Congressman Lacey Clay brought up the findings at today's House Oversight Subcommittee hearing on violence possibly fueled by white supremacists. Mayor Lida Krusen released a statement saying the police department has launched an internal affairs investigation hinting at stern consequences for those involved, saying these posts are disturbing and unacceptable. We expect professionalism out of every city employee, no exceptions. That tells me there's a culture problem. Everybody needs to be able to know that if they're in trouble, they need protection, they pick up the phone, they call 911, doesn't matter who you are. Emily Baker White is a former Philadelphia federal public defender. She says troubling police Facebook posts she found while investigating a case in 2016 led to her launching the Plainview Project. To the extent that these images could tell members of the community the police aren't in my corner, that's what we want to fix here because our police officers are heroes. Jeff Rorda of the St. Louis Police Officers Association says he has reached out to the Council on American Islamic Relations in response to their concerns, though he will not comment on what he calls speculation that the posts were actually made by officers until that can be verified. Baker White says those involved openly identify themselves as current or former officers in their Facebook posts or profiles. Andy Banker, Fox 2 News. And late tonight, our partners at the St. Louis Post-Dispatch are reporting that city police will now undergo sensitivity training. And